Ooh, you didn't think we were done with Resident Evil 2, did you? Nah. Honky Kong here with, uh, what's called Extreme Battle Mode. Um, when I beat Resident Evil 2 uh, with both Claire A and Leon B, um, I fully expected to unlock for Survivor. I don't know if they changed it in the GameCube version, but when you beat it with both of them, uh, you unlock in Extreme Battle Mode, which, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is from the PC port of this. I think. Feel free to correct me. I really don't know. I didn't bother looking it up. And I I don't know if they just changed requirements or what, but at least now, you need an A rank in uh, B scenario in order to get for Survivor. So, I don't feel like going through the game again. So, if you, if you guys want to see for Survivor, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube easily enough. Anyway, what is Extreme Battle? Well, you're going to find out here in a minute. Here we go. Go. Well, okay. Um, as he, well, you probably can't tell, but uh, you start off with only level one, all right. And I've I've been through this once because I wanted to see what it was like, and uh, that's how you unlock your first character. Well, un unlock your first hidden character, first first unlockable character. Let's say that. I haven't done two yet, which I think is just supposed to be harder, but it's still like pretty much the same. So let's do that. Here we go. Right. Okay, this is kind of like, uh, kind of like Mercenaries mode, sort of, of like Resident Evil 3. Okay, you see, we have a character select screen here. Okay, we got, this is who I unlocked. I unlocked Ada. She starts with a, a Colt, uh, the SMG, and the Bowgun. And <laughs> to most people, that wouldn't be a very attractive uh, combination of weapons, but honestly, I was messing around with her, and it's really not bad. It, the bowgun actually seems to work better than EX Battle. I'm sure, like, nothing's actually changed, but maybe it's because you just get so many bolts and, you know, what you don't kill with the first volley of bolts. Finish it off with the SMG or something. But, uh, yeah. Then we got Leon, of course. He's got his normal repertoire of, uh, weapons and stuff. And, uh, I mean, yeah, shotgun, magnum, fuck. It's great. And then we have, you know, Claire. She's got her grenade launcher, which doesn't hold a candle to the shotgun, magnum, and all that good stuff. So it should be pretty obvious who we're choosing. And I'm going to choose... Claire. No, really, I'm choosing Claire. <laughs> it, it sounds weird, but, um... Space can be a bit of an issue sometimes. And you find a lot of ammo. You, I mean, you really find a lot of ammo. And by only having to carry one weapon around... And even if you carry, like, all your ammunition with you... All your weapons combined are only taking up three slots. That leaves plenty of room to pick up other stuff or carry more health stuff if you want to. Plus, again, since you have so many rounds, uh, any of her grenades, even like the crappy ass regular grenades, can one shot a zombie as long as you don't, you know, do it at maximum range or do it at an angle or whatever. And even then, it still sometimes works. So, in my opinion, Claire's the best for this. Leon, if you take all his weapons, weapons and ammo, that's six slots right there. That's a lot. So now we got our intro here. I don't know why I'm not, not talking. It's not like anything's talking. But basically, uh, we're doing the game backwards. We're starting off at the, the train, essentially. Oh, no, no, it's starting at the train. We're starting at that security room with, like, all the cameras and stuff. And, uh... Um, Basically, we have to make it back to the police station, and we have to find uh, four virus bombs. Now, scattered throughout are healing items, ammo, and some other weapons. Like, there's an SMG somewhere, there's a rocket launcher with ten rockets loaded. It's amazing. Even though I never had to use the rocket launcher, and I don't ever think I used the SMG. Now, I think it's slightly different for some characters. Like, um, Ada's and Claire's set of enemies and pickups was like pretty much the same except you know exchange grenade rounds for whatever beta gets and um but like yeah all the enemies were the same but Leon's locations were different so uh yeah oh I guess I put some crap away they give you the knife I don't know why um uh let's see here um in level one they gave you five ink ribbon in this one they give you three so far, I haven't really seen any of the difference. Maybe there's less item pickups or something. Because there's quite a few spots where there's like two pickups, 
Maybe in this one there's only one. Even if we only get one, we should be okay on ammo. So the, the first two parts are us just trying to get to the police station and get out of the way. Okay, uh, you know, if I don't have to fight you, I'm not going to. So yeah, we're, we're, we're a bit... Uh, <laughs> I think there might have been, like, two boxes of ammo here. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. When I was eight, I was able to just fly... Oh, wait. There's some back here. I was able to just fucking fly through this. I mean, I don't know if the spiders ever touched her. Well, I was about to get cocky there and say, oh, Claire's doing pretty well, but she finally got tagged. Actually, this is a whole lot better than my first attempt ever. I got just om nom by the spiders. I mean, I don't think they did any, like, lasting damage or anything. My thinking is that they only do, like, 1% each or something like that. But yeah, we got more grenades for the road. Oh, come on. Okay, uh, he's not dead, but I think if you down a zombie, even if they're not dead, um, or if you, like, take off their legs or something like that, I think they stay dead if you, like, leave. Okay, I know there's a sp spider in here. Aha! Two spiders! Aha! Alright, we got that. That was easy. Um, acid rounds will take that. Uh, yeah, it's like some places only... I can swear that there was more ammo in here, but that's okay. And let's combine that with that. So yeah, we're just, uh, we go through, we kill stuff as we need to, grab items, uh, once we get to the police precinct, we find four antivirus bombs, and once you click the fourth one and, le and uh, exit whatever room you're in, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, ends the game right, well, it takes you back to the train automatically, and, uh, you get, like, a little cutscene or whatever, and that's really about it. There's no, there's no talking, no story. Um, is there anything else I can do? No, I guess not. No talking, no story. It's just, uh, well, it's EX battle. You just run through and QP stuff, basically. Uh, there's more zombies in here. Yeah, nothing down that hall, so I'm not gonna screw with it. Oh, that that was. Brilliant! Brilliant! I miss those commercials. Yeah, I'm done with you. Nothing here to pick up. I'll kill you. Yeah, I thought this mode would be a lot harder. It really isn't that hard. <laughs> really, really isn't. Um, again, especially as clear, because you have so much more room. And her, her, I mean, while they still can't compare to, like, a Magnum or, in some cases, a shotgun shell, um, oh my god, I didn't know those were there. Uh, yeah, I don't need to come this way again, so. Like I said, it automatically takes you back. Um, I'm starting to wonder why I'm even showing this one, because there's, like, not really a whole lot to talk about. Come on, come on. Boom! You're dead. Thanks, try again. Showing off my mad league skills, that's what I'm doing with this. I really don't have anything to talk about. This is just, uh, me bullshitting around, shooting stuff. You get, you get to see what, uh, this is all about. And now, one thing I'm not sure of, I, I didn't bother to look this up either. I don't know if, like, uh, uh, if, like, the, the bomb locations are, like, randomized, because there are some kind of weird spots. And I, th I might remember where all of them are, but I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, should be some rounds in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was... Two sets in there last time. Okay, so it cut your ink ribbon down to three, and looks like you might get half as much ammo as usual. 
So this one might be a little different. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, that fourth character you saw. That's supposed to be Chris, I think. I think. I did read up on that. I was curious. Hey, I should have quit flame rounds, but whatever. Uh, oh well, we made our ammo back. I mean, usually by this point I'll have poison once, but I'm doing okay for myself so far. I don't know if the enemies do more damage than this, or if they have more health. I'm guessing not. You're probably just stuck with, you know, less ammo. This part coming up, um, annoyed me. To no end. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. Bye, zombie. We're not coming back this way. We're not coming back through any of this way, so... Okay. Wait, this is different. Oh, maybe, maybe it does randomize it to some degree? Okay. Hi! Woo! Okay, we don't need to kill all of you. That was enough. Wow. Hello! Uh, last time I came here, there were dogs. And, uh, <laughs> they were like corner camping inside that little, uh, middle room there. Ooh, I hit all three of them. Ooh. Killed all three of them with two. That's not, that's not too bad, actually. But by the end of all this, I had, like, way too much ammunition. I had, like, 30 or 40 spare grenade rounds. Uh, 30 or 40 acid rounds, and, like, 50 flame rounds, I think. Ammo was not a problem at all. Now these rooms I'm going to, you don't have to go through them. You can just dart straight for... I just made a hand motion. Uh, you can just dart straight for the uh, elevator train thingy. Um, you know, I better kill one of you. Or two of you, that works. Hello! What, there's nothing in here? Oh, I have been duped! I've been hoodwinked! Oh, what a waste of ammo. One whole grenade. Yeah, I'm laughing about that now, but I'm probably gonna like, run into ammo problems later. There's a few uh, unique encounters later, so, so to speak. It's not an enemy type that we haven't seen before, but, um, well, you'll, you'll see. And it happens not once, but twice. But then again, some things have been randomized in this, so I don't know if that's going to hold true or not. Anything in here? Acid over here. Wait, no catch. Gimme. Okay, so there still is some... Whoa, hello! Wait, wasn't that fire I used? Fire didn't one-shot it? Really? Aw, oh, man, I didn't have to come over here. What a chip. But uh, that's the nature of it. I just can't know. I, I can't know what I'm going to run into, really. I have a feeling this is going to turn into a botched attempt. I'm going to look like a total ass, which I guess doesn't really matter, because I don't really care if I unlock Chris, really. It'd be nice, but I mean... I'm not so tired of, like, Resident Evil games at this point. Uh, it's not like I'm going to come back to playing 2 anytime soon. Um, hmm. Freebies. Alright. I like freebies. I like free stuff! Yeah. God, this is just so uninteresting. There's like, I, I can't say like, oh yeah, we gotta go this way to get the key, and um, yeah, I gotta run to that bitch and that, slap her in the face, and then um, stuff's gonna happen. Uh, more bad voice acting and unnecessary hand motions. Um, but no, I can't talk about any of that because uh, well, it's not in this. 
Swing and a miss. Hello. Thankfully, they have, they have, if you are poisoned, aside from other from blue herbs that you can pick up, there's a fair number of like blue herb planters around. So don't panic if you get poisoned. Whoa, dogs! That's new. Come on. Fucker. Alright, um... Is there items over here? I guess I'm gonna go dump stuff off. And then, uh, I can either go on the train now to get to the next area, or I can go item hunting. And we're gonna go item hunting. Because I'm honestly not sure how much ammo I'm gonna need. And this may turn out to be a wasted trip and whatnot. I don't know. We'll see. We could save, but I'm not going to. No need to yet. And... I don't feel like going to this again, so I'm going to make a double. Uh, you know what? I'll carry the double with me. There's red herbs about, so I don't want to use, like, too many of my green herbs if I don't have to. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. Let's load, uh, let's load acid for a bit. I mean, I don't really know why I'm doing that, actually. Let's just use all our grenade rounds when we have them. They're the, I mean, grenade rounds are the weakest, but they have, like, the ability to kill multiple zombies sometimes. Sorta. We'll just use regular grenade rounds. Save our more specialized thing rounds for uh, other things that might actually have weaknesses. Go down the elevator. <laughs> I remember when I was uh, planning for this not too long ago. Doing that whole thing at the beginning, we were like, well, Leon has a superior weaponry, and considering how much I've bitched about Claire's weapons the whole time, everybody's gonna be thinking, oh yeah, he's definitely gonna take a. Oh shit, back to something more. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> well, it's obvious who he's gonna pick. Like, yeah, I'm gonna pick, um, Claire. <laughs> Whoa, hello! Asshole. Okay, I should probably kill them on the way back. Track and serve ammo too much. Perhaps, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's not use a green yet. Let's save that. Um, although, if something remains true to the way it was last time, we'll get a little help with my ammo here in a bit. Okay, there's a red. I need a red. I think this is the first time I've ever run out of grenade rounds. Like, just regular G rounds. Um, let's go up here first. I almost, I always go the other way first, but uh, let's go this way first. Just so, if what I think is up here still, um, it should help out a little bit, and I'll just start using it immediately. Post haste. Hello. You hear that, folks? Ha ha! Whoa! It's not dead! Yeah, fuck. Uh, I'll take more damage than I wanted to there. Whoa! Hello! Oh, what was. I thought I heard another one. There's a quick reaction by me, and hello, SMG. You'll be seeing use immediately. Could I just use your ass now and dump you off? Because I'm running a little low on grenade rounds. I'm almost... Uh, well, I mean, start off with, with 18 rounds total. And we're at, what, 22 right now? It's not horrible, but, you know. Considering how much farming we've done already. Yeah, we got some healing items, but, um... Yeah... Some, as we've seen, some rooms have absolutely nothing in them. 
it, like, you'll kill enemies and find out, hey, there's nothing in here. And then you'll find rooms like that, uh, like the double fingerprint door, where uh, it was just free loot. Doesn't happen often, but uh, it does happen. So maybe that, if everything is kind of randomized, maybe that one thing with what I did with Ada when it looked like a clear scenario was just a coincidence. Maybe it's like a randomized set that can possibly happen. Yeah, this is gonna take a little while just because the Oh, well, never mind. I was just gonna be a total dick cheese and just keep wait wait until they get up and then just like pop a single bullet into them each time. Which would have taken forever because SMG is crap. Hey, alright! That's a good haul right there. I don't think I've ever gotten three sets of rounds here. That's good, that's good. And acid, while not my favorite, is useful. Basically, you want to try and save your acid for um, uh, liquors and tyrant. Tyrant is in this, so you know. Now, I'm not even sure tyrant is weak against acid, but if I had to guess, I would say he is. Flame works pretty well on anything, but it won't usually won't one hit. Uh, liquors, so, you know, save it for spiders and, uh, plant monster things. For the record, don't ever use an SMG on a plant monster, because it takes fucking forever to kill it. Or you just drop it with a single flame round. It's easy as that. And zombies, uh, just use whatever you have the most of if you don't have regular G rounds. Grenade rounds are cool, though, against, like, or can be cool, I should say. Against stuff like, uh, spiders and, uh, and, uh, like, dogs when they get the jump on you. Or liquors, like, if they're, like, right in your face, and you don't really have time to aim. Oh my god, seriously. Son of a bitch. Uh, not ready for the double green. Well, I might be here in a second. Fuck. Oh, what was that? Hmm. What was that noise? Oh, no gear. I, I want to do that eventually. The whole series, I mean. Um, although I've, <laughs> it, I've, I've learned one lesson from. Resident Evil, and that's to not do a whole series of games in a row, even though it makes more sense story-wise, well, at least with some games anyway, like, with Final Fantasy, it doesn't really matter, because there's just, there's just so many different, wow, wait a minute, I'm already down to 74% ammo, god, this thing isn't going to last long at all, anyway, um, like, I don't think any of the Final Fantasy games are connected. So, you know, you can play those in whatever order and nobody's going to really care. But with, like, Resident Evil, you know, you play it in order because it all fits together pretty well. And that was the end of the first part. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll stop it here for now. And then I'll uh, start recording the next part. See you in a bit. Hey there folks, welcome back for uh, part two of uh, EX Battle, and here we go. Alright, um, that was a little slow to react actually, so hopefully I'll pick up on that when I'm actually processing this. Uh, nothing around the corner unless something is different. I can't take anything for granted now because like some parts have been like completely different from the way I remember when I did this the first time. Um. <laughs> Or maybe it's just because it's level 2. Maybe, like, if I were to do Leon level 2, it'd look more like the way Claire's uh, first time through did, or whatever. Um, I'm not going to save yet. I'm not really concerned about saving, because if I die, I die, that's it. 
Uh, but I'd at least like to show you guys at least one of the bombs. Just so you... Uh, why am I putting that up? Don't need. Uh, I don't feel like combining yet. So we're not going to do it. Uh, let's take the SMG. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load this with regular G rounds. I'm going to do what I can to empty out the SMG so I can get rid of it. As far as I know, this is the only SMG you get. Unless you're Ada, then this is your second one. Okay, I don't... I'm going to try to die. die. Whoa, your arm fell off, dude! And you're not dead. Get up, Rick. Oh. Well, that works, too. Oh, hello. Fail. Motherfucker! Okay, get back out. Come on. There you are. Oh, you fuck. Seriously. That was... Ooh. Green herb go. Damn it. You guy's actually dead. Okay, I'm not looking in that direction, so... Oh, there's nothing over here. What a jip. I could sure just made a break for it. Whoa, hello. You're... Not sure. Yeah. Either I wasn't close enough, or he really was dead. But that, I thought that was pushing it pretty close. Oh, uh, fun fact, um, if you're, Le if you're clear, you can backtrack through Leon's areas, and, oh, hello, die, 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 okay, I wasn't expecting that, so let's wait till you pop around the corner, mm -hmm. okay, wait till I can see you, die, ow, Oh, that's not working. That is not working. Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, wow. I never saw that death. Uh... <laughs> He's rubbing me out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been killed by a trench coated tyrant. He caught me in a bad spot. I was too busy dicking around with the damn SMG. Uh... You know what? Screw it. I don't feel like doing this anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to end up combining this into the first video. And, uh, yeah. You, you get the idea. I was wanting to show you the bombs, but really it's just... You go around the police station and you look for bombs. All the doors are unlocked. And yeah. Okay, well... <laughs> I can't believe it ended that way. Oh my god, I fucking suck. After I was so... Well, I felt I was awesome. Anybody that's done speedruns before would be like, What the fuck? You suck! After they saw... If they saw all that, they would just like... Just, just facepalm. It was just embarrassing. But anyway, um... <laughs> th thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Later.